Hey there, Miranda Wilson here with another lesson idea to go along with our adapted articles. Our goal is to highlight and explain some of the additional resources we've curated to help with your lesson planning. Today, we'll focus on the article titled, What Can We Learn About Aging from Naked Mole Rats? The researcher, Chris Fox, and his colleagues looked at changes that occurred in naked mole rat DNA as the animals aged. Then they used this information to create a genetic version of a biological clock to see how old the naked mole rats were at a molecular level. They found out that queens aged more slowly than other naked mole rats, but none of them seemed to suffer the physical impacts of aging like other animals. Students will love learning about the only type of mammal that lives in a eusocial group, especially one that doesn't seem to age. This article actually has two reading levels that are available. We know that sometimes students can find reading articles, even adapted ones, a bit tedious. So we've curated links to some additional resources that could round out your lesson plans with experiments and hands-on activities. The first resource we'd recommend is meant for middle school classrooms and is a lab that extracts DNA from strawberries. Strawberries actually have eight sets of DNA in each of their cells, which means they're ideal candidates for DNA extraction. There are lots of versions of this lab all over the internet and lots of short videos if you need help visualizing what the setup looks like. This version has clear instructions for teachers and students and has some straightforward questions for a wrap up. Having done this lab for years, I'd recommend using frozen strawberries. They're cheaper than fresh and they store easily. Just make sure you take them out of the freezer with enough time to thaw. Your students will definitely enjoy this lab, but be prepared to listen to a lot of jokes about snot. Because yeah, strawberry DNA looks a bit like snot at a large scale. The next activity we've found is another hands-on activity meant for middle school students from Teach Engineering. In this activity, students will build models of DNA using toothpicks and gumdrops. The idea is for students to understand the three-dimensional double helix structure of DNA and be able to identify different sequences of the bases. The activity also challenges students to connect DNA sequences to what a person might look like or their phenotype. The instructions are clear and there are keys to go along with each part of the activity. The next resource we'd like to highlight is a fun activity from the Cornell Institute for Biology Teachers and is meant for middle school students. This hands-on activity challenges students to build insect models based on genetic information. The activity introduces the concept of dominant and recessive alleles along with heterozygosity. There's a background section on the student handout that explains the new vocab and there's some vocab matching to make sure they understand. The student instructions are clear about how to build the insect models, and there are good wrap-up questions for students to consider. The teacher's worksheet has additional background to share with students, a list of building materials, example photos of insects, and ideas for extension activities. If you do this activity, make sure to share photos of your students' model insects with us on social media. The last resource we have is from the Connecticut Department of Education, and it is and looks really old. But it has a ton of great ideas for lessons about aging for elementary school students. It's really hard for little kids to think about getting old. These activities use cartoons, questionnaires, and data to work through ideas about aging, life expectancy, and health issues associated with aging. So, don't judge a book by its cover. Please take a look at these short activities and ideas for conversations for our younger scholars. Don't forget to take a look at our videos at the bottom of the article page when you're planning your class time. For each adapted article, we provide an audio version of the article being read for those students who might need some extra help with their reading skills. You can access our audio versions on the webpage for each adapted article or on the Science Journal for Kids YouTube channel. There's also always a video meant to introduce the topic of the article to your students. In this case, there's a two-minute video all about naked mole rats, 
and what makes them such unique animals. Your students are sure to get drawn in. That's all for today. If you'd like more teaching tips and ideas for lesson planning, please check out the audio or video versions of our Lesson Ideas podcast. Also, make sure to check out our Ask a Scientist videos for short interviews with some of our researchers. You can find them on our YouTube channel. If you have questions or comments, please share them in the feedback form on our website. You can also sign up for our free monthly newsletter to learn about our latest content. And as always, please visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources. Music